Well, good morning. Got down here nice and early this morning. It's just after six. I just cast the rods out. Just put the GoPro on the uh, stand there to do an intro and I've got to run straight away. Literally, again, five minutes in the water and I think it could be a car. So it's worth getting up earlier this morning. Small car. How crazy is that? You know, I got up a bit earlier this morning. Uh, I got up at um, half past four, in fact, <laughs> to try and get down here before sunrise. I, I didn't quite make it before sunrise, but only just after. You know, the sun's just poked above the trees there. Uh, got round here. This swim that I fished in the last three weeks was free again. So I had to take it, you know, the rest of the lake's pretty busy, there's probably one, two, three, three around that way, a um, couple down there, a uh, couple over on the point and that, so you know, there's a few people around, but nobody was in this swim, so I had to take it, got in the swim, cast out the two rods, set up the chair, and uh, before I'd even done an intro piece today, I just set the camera up, just about to do an intro piece, and the rod screened off. It's a small combo. I mean, this one is a small one. It's it's probably only just around about 10, 10 to 12 pounds, something like that. So I might not even bother to take a picture of this one, but a good start. Less than five minutes in the water, soon after arrival, just after six, and uh, got one in the bag already. A low double common this one, I won't put it away yet, but a great start indeed. Brand new he is, look at him. Well that was a good start wasn't it? It's still only 6.30 now. You know, I'm normally not even fishing by this time. Because it's getting lighter earlier now, you know, we're at the uh, start of May now, beginning of May, May the 2nd today I think it is. Um, I'm having to get up earlier to get here in time for, for daybreak. So I left re really early this morning, before five this morning to get here just before sunrise. But uh, I did arrive just on sunrise. By the time I got round to the swim and set up, cast out, you know, the sun had just, just come above the trees there. But it worked. You know, within, it was about three minutes, I reckon. I had a blast and take on the, the favorite right hand rod. I knew it was a carp straight away, but as the fight went on, I realised it was, uh, you know, not, not a big one, <clears throat> a small one, because it was quite erratic and darting about, not like a big carp, but not like a tench. 
and uh, I guessed it was a, a small common and sure enough it was a small common around about 10 pounds something like that lovely fish though brand new looking one one for the future but you know it makes me laugh I mean there's uh, probably six six people on here uh, six six or seven did the night last night some over there some over there another one along there a bit you know when I pushed the barrow around this morning they was all tucked up in their sleeping bags doors to the bivvies zip right the way up you know obviously not caught anything because I could see by the the, the, the wastelings and everything hanging around nothing had been caught and I've nipped round here got set up cast out caught a car uh, before they've all woken up and got out of their sleeping bags <laughs> so this um, day fishing that I'm doing not including the nights does seem to work you know I'm up earlier I can have a look around see where see where fish are feeding get some fresh baits out there get some fresh casts out there and uh, nick a fish And um, I'm hoping that's not the end of it, you know, I've got all day, all day in the swim again, hoping for uh, some more action, you know, tench, I'd like to catch a few tench again, and um, chance of the odd carp during the morning spell. So let's see how it pans out. We're in, just having a little doze then. I think it's probably a tench. Hope this one stays on. Well, it's not, it's not a tench. It came in too easily for a tench, you know. I wasn't sure what it was. Then I thought it was a, a small carp because it started thumping around the edge. It's a dirty, great big bream. I mean, this is a, a big bream. I mean, I've had a few eight pounders this year, but it looks bigger. I'm just gonna have another look at this. I think this could be a double figure bream. This looks like it could be a PB. It's a really old looking fish. But I've heard that there's a few big bream in here. And that's one of the things that I've, I've wanted to do is, is get a double figure bream. And I think this could be it. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Check this one out. This gigantic ancient bream. And this is a PB for me, this is uh, just under 12 pounds this is. It's a right ancient old slab. But it's something that I've uh, wanted to catch for a while, a decent double figure bream. So here it is. What an old warrior this one is. Looks as old as me, if that's possible. Well the sun's well up now as you can see and uh, the bites have slowed right down. Uh, I've not had anything for a while. So it's a, a bit of a struggle today. So I'm trying something a little bit different. I did just see my first tench roll. Just a little way out there, you know, about 
20 yards, 25 yards, something like that. So I noted it, marked it against the tree on the island there. And, and I've put a little bit of bait out there and I've just recast one of the rods short in that little area, hoping, hoping for a tench, you know, because they're elusive today. Last week, they were crawling up the rods. This week, I've not had one yet. So as I say, I've just put six bomb loads of uh, bait out there, which was a mixture. A uh, mixture of some hemp, put a bit of hemp in there, some good old sweet corn, red maggots, always seems to do the trick, and uh, some mixed pellets there. I've got fours and sixes there, various flavours. Um, six bomb loads out there, dropped a rod over the top of it, and it's fingers crossed for a tench before I go home tonight. I love it when a plan comes together. I saw a fish roll in close, so I put six bombs out there and uh, cast the bait over the top of it. Half an hour later, the rod rips off, and this beauty was on the end. Didn't think I was going to get attention today, but that plan worked perfectly. Bit of a good opportunity fishing there. Uh, six pounds, twelve ounces. This one is not quite a seven. But a lovely fish, just what I wanted. Right, well that's just about it. It's um, half past seven now, so I'm going to call it a day in about half an hour. Just about to start tidying up the gear in preparation for the long drive home. But it shouldn't be too bad at this time of night, unlike the winter when I used to get stuck in the uh, rush hour. It's quite, uh, quite a pleasant drive home. Anyway, it's a pretty tough day to be honest, but at least I've caught. I mean, there's been plenty of other anglers around, including my friend John next door, who've not even had a bite today. At least I've had several bites you know and, and a few fish I had that carp within minutes of casting out and I thought it was going to be another hectic day but uh, you know I lost I lost the tench soon after that but most of the day I've been scratching around doing nothing uh, I had that amazing bream which the day's been worth it just to catch that PB bream amazing old creature that was uh, and then I uh, nicked one in close after seeing a fish roll, spawned some bait out there, fished over it and had a nice uh, 6 pound 12 tench over that area. Uh, nothing since, I've had the, the birds, the coots and the uh, tufties have uh, been diving down. They've cleared all the bait up and they've stirred all the bottom up, just, just, just ruined the area. So I've got two, two baits cast far out at the moment. but. Uh, nothing's happened. Anyway, it's been a good day and uh, I'm sure I'll be back soon enough. So see you next time.